So goodbye America, hello Philippines. I have been here in the Philippines for over five months now and once I found this paradise right here, this white beach, station one, best beach in the world, rated by Condé Nast Traveler, top island in Asia, top beach in Asia. I've been all over, been to every nice beach in the United States and many, many beaches all over the place. And this is the top of the top. And this coming here six weeks ago and experiencing this clean air and friendly people, friendly pricing, friendly everything, I have realized that it is goodbye America, hello Philippines. I will always visit my father and my sister, which is really all I have left in that country. But this paradise is my home now. There is no way that I would ever go back to the terrible things that I mentioned prior of what my home country has evolved into. I'm a proud American and I will exercise my passport and I will always visit, but I would never reside in that toxic environment that the United States has become with all the division from politics, all the masculine women, all of the inflation and ridiculous pricing. You get so little for so much money and you get so much for so little. And to be able to live in a paradise like this, the top island in the Philippines, the top island in Asia, and the top beach in the world, Station One, Boracay Island, it's just, it's my deciding factor. BGC, I liked it, but I wasn't completely, completely sold. Now I am completely, completely sold. I don't care if this is a tourist town. It has the perfect mix of everything. It's not just some, you know, white beach with absolutely no one on it and, you know, not all the best food options and stuff and not beautiful, gorgeous women flying in every single day. It's that white island like a Chargao or like a different one, but yet you have all of that amazing food options because of the foreign presence. You have all the gorgeous white girls and all the gorgeous Filipinas, Koreans, Chinese. This is just the absolute perfect mix for a guy like myself that still has that social extroverted personality and isn't ready to just be kind of chilling in Mactan Newtown, you know, seeing the same eight people every day. You've got to really, really, you know, uh, figure out what works for you. How old are you? How introverted or extroverted are you? Are you going to let a woman guide your choices or are you going to come out and take Philippines by the horns and really, really make your own path and let a woman step into your frame in your world and move to your location? regardless of the situation but to each their own and i have a lot of subscribers that are happily married or uh, dating a filipino woman and they've gone to their province or their area and that totally makes sense because filipinas are very family oriented and stuff but for me this was my path and if i stay single for the next five years or i end up married with children that's the beauty about life especially when you really just take it by the horns and just decide hey you know what i'm gonna make a daring move here and I don't care if I don't know anyone. I don't care if I don't have a wife. I don't care if I don't have income. I'm, I'm smart with my money. I know how to make it go very far. And I'm just gonna do this and I'm just gonna let the chips fall where they may. That's the beauty of life. There's none of that when you're just working, eat, sleep, repeat in your same condo in the town you grew up in. And you know for sure that there is no mystery or no beauty of life. It's really, really a boring, depressing situation. And this is anything but boring and depressing. Look at this beauty. This is the absolute best island in the world. And regardless of where you go, whether you go to Philippines, Thailand, Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, anywhere where your money will go further and where you can be happy with clean air and nice you know, beaches. I don't care if you go to Manila, just get out of your comfort zone and get to somewhere where your money makes sense is really my goal for guys out there that are stuck in the, um, you know, retire at 66 and uh, this and that and that's not a knock on any of my people a lot of my people that are gonna retire at 65 or 62 will have 10 times the money that I do they won't have to worry about the fact that they can't afford to support a girlfriend and stuff and they can come out here and just enjoy this paradise but at the end of the day for me this was my path to do this at a young age when I had the energy to ride my bike or walk 10 20 miles a day and just be that extroverted you know person regardless i don't need to drink or anything to just mix it up and meet different people every day and just you know meet people in real life and not even have to go on the internet and just really just walk these beaches and just soak up the sun and the beautiful women and just the uh the great food and just everything i mean baraka 
truly has it all. I'm sure there's many other locations that do, like a Chargal or like a Palawan or like, you know, Phuket may be your thing. There's just beautiful, you know, go to Bali, go, go anywhere you want, but get out of your comfort zone and get out of the West. It's only getting worse. It's been completely strangleholded by social media and stuff. And, you know, at the end of the day, you only got one life to live. Take a little trial trip like I did. Do 30 days though, don't do a week. It's not enough time to soak up the, the vibes and go to a couple different cities or beaches. Do 30 days and take a little trip. And I bet you, if you know, if you're a daring extroverted type of person, or even if you just meet the right girl and you wanna just leave that introverted life and just marry a woman or something, you're better off just, just, uh, just getting out and giving it a shot. That's all you gotta do. If you don't like it, cool. You took a vacation, it cost you three grand. Just do it smart, go on Airbnb, find a cheap flight, maybe fly into South Korea first or something for an hour. And at the end of the day, it's still doable at an affordable price. There's no more restrictions from the sniffles. I mean, now is the time that taught us that, you know, nothing is promised and that we were benched for over two years. Now is the time to get out here and really see what it is and see if there's a better life for you like I found for me. I know I sound like a motivational speaker, but you know, I could have very easily kept talking myself out of this and just stayed right in the situation that I was and earning the money that I was and just, you know, kind of just stuck with the situation I was in, which all in all, I was miserable when I look back on it. Yeah, I had some good moments. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as it was for some people. I wasn't struggling with women or I didn't have any of that issues, but at the end of the day, I can last long term in the situation that I'm currently in. I'm finding ways to generate income and my happiness level is at a 10 compared to it being like a four in my home country. So that's just something to think about as someone that did it, his boots on the ground out here and you know, really talked himself out of it many, many, many times and didn't, uh, didn't you know, go when he said he was gonna, I renewed my passport and then I, I slept on it for like seven months or nine months or whatever it was and didn't do what I should have done and got out here sooner but you know what, better late than never. And for some people they would say 20 years early. So at the end of the day, it just is what it is. You know, you got to uh, do what works for you and do it when you're prepared financially, do it when you're ready. But at the same time, life is short. Tomorrow is not promised. The sniffles taught us that. And I really, really cannot stress to you enough how much this got me out of my funk of my groundhog day, boring, you know, American life, where even if you make six figures in America, you still can't really do much anymore. If you live in a Los Angeles or a Las Vegas or in New York or a Miami, you're still like lower middle class, damn near at a hundred thousand right now. You come out here, you're an absolute rock star. If you got three grand a month out here, you're an, you're living like a God. I've made my budget videos. You can go back and look at those, but yeah, I just really wanted to say, you know, goodbye America. Hello Philippines, and it can be anywhere for you. It can be anywhere in Southeast Asia, it can be anywhere, anywhere that's a cheaper environment with beautiful women and beautiful beaches, if that's your thing. If you're a woman, come out here too. This is an amazing place for a woman. You're very safe in a BGC, in a, in a uh, Boracay, in a, uh, you know, many, many places all over the globe. Many women love to go to Bali and this and that. It's time to travel and enjoy yourself. Yeah, you might not move like us men do, and you know, you don't maybe, it's not the same draw for the women to us uh, that it is for the, for the women to find the men out here. But you know what, I've seen it. And there is women that I see with Filipino guys and stuff. So at the end of the day, just do what makes you happy and don't just spend your whole life locked up in your condo watching YouTube videos. Get out there and actually experience 